what good are junk mail or flyers? That's today's topic on living on the cheap and trying to figure it all out. Do you ever get the local mail, like the free mail that comes door to door? Or if you live in an apartment, usually you get a pile of them um, at your entranceway or where your mailbox is. You get some sort of cheapy local paper and a stack of flyers. Well, we do. In fact, we get two papers. I don't even know why. So we get twice as many flyers. Well, I used to chuck those all the time. And then I realized, wait a minute, I'm on a budget. I should be looking at some of this stuff. So what I do now is I pick up my local grocery store. This is my favorite one, Save on Foods. I like them because they have um, a more rewards. Um, club, coupon, I don't know. And it seems in their flyers lately. Can you see that? If you spend so much, and I believe this is $200, no, $100. If you spend $100, you get $1,500 extra points. And they have a whole catalog online. Um, and you can pick whatever you want with the points you have. You can save up for something big, or you could buy smaller things. They have all kinds of things from high chairs, strollers, car seats, to um, hotels, uh, gift cards, um, uh, vouchers for cruises, vouchers for vacations, airlines, all this kind of stuff. So they got everything from camping gear to vacuums to knife sets. Like they've got just a ton of stuff. So I shop there because I figure since I'm already spending the money on groceries, I might as well be getting something for free out of it. And so this is how we pay for our hotels. Usually when we go away is we actually save up for Best Western um, coupons and they're $50 Best Western card, gift cards that we get. And then we stack those up until we can afford a vacation some more for free. So back to why look at your flyer. When you do your meal plan, do you ever look at your local flyer to see what's on sale and go according to that? You should, because you could be saving a ton of money. I used to just come up with a menu plan out of my head and buy the stuff that I needed for that menu plan. But a lot of times the chicken wasn't on sale or the beef wasn't on sale and I had to pay full price. Well, if you look, for instance, this week, pork back ribs are 54% off. 54% off, that is a huge chunk of change. Guess what? couple times this week we're having ribs the other thing is strawberries are on sale which i kind of think is a little odd when it's march they're not local they're from either us or mexico i personally don't like to buy strawberries when they're not local but that's just my own grape but they are on sale at 2.99 each so you know not bad also breakfast cereals uh uh granola bars great for school snacks pizza great for when kids are over yogurts i mean you can save a ton of money just looking and what's on sale in the flyers um, and so that's what I started doing I actually started looking at my flyer see what's on sale and just go buy that you could save easily a hundred dollars per week on groceries if you just looked at your sales flyer that comes to the house I know traditionally they're just garbage and I try not to look at all the other ones we get a gazillion um, Best Buy London Drugs you name it we probably get it Sears Bay I don't know, there's a ton of other ones I'm sure I'm not mentioning that are on there. But um, what I try to do is not look at any of those. I look at just the store I go to regularly, Save on Foods. They also do do um, a price match. So sometimes, but rarely, because I end up finding a bunch of other stuff that I shouldn't be buying, I will look at the Walmart or the Safeway so that I can price match. Um, because Save on Foods will price match. And so will Walmart if you shop at Walmart and do the vice versa. You can price match from the Save on Foods flyers. So totally look at your flyers or junk mail. Other thing, junk mail, very important. I don't have it in front of me, which I wish I did. I didn't plan this video very well, did I? But uh, the junk mail, you'd be surprised. A lot of local news in your community or in your neighborhood talk about what's going on on the weekends. So sometimes you can plan free events. Um, in the spring and summer, there's lots going on. A lot of outdoor events or vendors or even farmer's markets are advertised. And some of the farmer's markets, depending on how big the cities are or neighborhoods, they will have um, uh, kids' activities. Some of them are free, some of them are pay. I know the one here in New Westminster, they have a free craft table for kids and they usually have some sort of clown or something that will do face painting. The face painting is charged, but the craft table is totally free, which is kind of cool. So it makes it fun for the kids as well. Also, I do something special. Well, whereas if I take my kids with me or my youngest with me to the farmer's market, I will buy her a bag of popcorn and it's the only time I buy popcorn. We'll buy the kettle corn. 
and yeah, make it a fun trip. Why not? But check out your local paper. You will be very surprised what's in it, what's going on in your neighborhood that you may not otherwise know. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe to my channel. We'll talk to you soon.